you guys ever want to slow your race car down, go ahead and wire in your Nitrous Express Hitman plate system with one five pin relay and do it the way I did it and you'll lose performance, guaranteed. <laughs> you know, I, I shouldn't even be sharing this video with you guys, but I, I think it's kind of a, a comical in a way. We did end up getting our uh, our leash board in and uh, pretty nice little setup here, easy peasy. You got your battery, ground, activation switch, your trans brake, your auxiliary. This side you got your purge and then your nitrous solenoids, which the way I wired this up in a hurry to get it over to US-131 over there to Schneidertrons, um, as you guys know, I got the Digital 6 Plus box, which it's got a, a feature on here for whenever you see 12 volts to the, the pink wire, it pulls timing. Well, with me running that single relay five pin relay which has two hots you know it's got a constant hot and then an activation hot um and i just took my fuse out of here which i wanted to show you guys something let me stick this fuse in here because i just pulled the fuse out to see if that would cure the problem and it did um stick the battery cable on i have the the step retard on that MSD box, let me move the stand out of the way real quick. I have the step retard wired in with uh, the single relay. Well, every time that this that fuse is in and that battery's hooked up, I have it on the same thing as my purge, which I didn't even realize. Let me show you guys this here. <coughs> as you guys can see, the activation switch is off. Well, look it. Purge still works. And I was thinking, okay, I'm going to run my step retard off my full throttle switch out there. And it won't activate until I activate. Well, I got it wired in to the hot side of the purge. So the full throttle switch. Every time that fuse is on. It activates that relay and then you every time you close that circuit on this full throttle switch it's live even without the the arming switch on for the solenoids which I made a huge mistake I should have wired that step retard in to where it's only hot when the arming switch is on what a dumbass so basically what I'm saying is that even with this off, every time that this was to the floor, that activation switch would close and it would pull six, God damn it. Sorry about that. It would pull six degrees of timing at all times, even without the arming switch on. So, you know, I could have not did this video and not showed you this, but it is what it is. Learn from my mistakes. But we did end up getting that leash board in. Um, we got it in the... Uh, uh, a couple days ago, finally, and uh, it's the leash sim uh, simple signal stage nitrous board. It shows your schematics here, which we're going to run that uh, step retard right up here. I kind of did a, a schematic here on the back, which would be like this. Now you got your two step that's going to go to the trans brake. So anytime you push your trans brake button down, it's going to interrupt the nitrous side. And the pink wire for the step retard is going to come over here. See, that's still wired to the purge, though. i got to figure that out. That's going to have to be separate. Um, the step retard comes over here to the power side of these solenoids. The, sh the purge should be over here. I don't know why. Oh, that says, uh, well, that's power. Duh. Okay. It's like, what the hell did I do? I, I did it the same way I did it before. Um, but no, I didn't. My bad. I'm out there doing the brakes on the Tahoe, guys. I just wanted to, to throw this in there. Um, <laughs> we're going to be doing the wiring on the, taking that relay out and getting the wiring done up on the El Camino correctly. But uh, I got to get back to work on the wife's Tahoe. She's got a doctor's appointment at uh, 1245. So we're going to jump out here 
and uh, throw some back uh, brake pads on uh, the 2010 Tahoe. So I'll bring you guys back. Hang tight. guys we got the the driver's side done now we're over here on the passenger side I figure I'd throw this little clip in for you is, uh, to show you how easy uh, it is to, to change your back disc brakes on a, a 2010 Tahoe all there is is two 13 millimeter bolts that hold the caliper on to the caliper bracket um, no need to take the caliper bracket off which is an 18 millimeter bolt so easy peasy I uh, took the caliper off. The back brakes were definitely in need. Uh, we've had this truck for going on five years now, and I've never, ever touched the back brakes, you know, the pads at all. I did put calipers, rotors, pads, uh, CV axles. Um, the whole front end, on, you know, is done on here. But uh, pulling that trailer over to the west side of the state, you know, three and a half hours, I took the back way there and stop and go stop and go and i don't have a brake controller in here uh, to help the brakes you know on the trailer to help the truck stop so i was like you know it, it is what it is it stops good well it definitely uh, took its toll on the back brakes which i'm sure it took some toll on the front brakes too i need to get a brake controller in here but uh when you guys go to compress these calipers down i use uh vice grip uh c-clamps stick it in there and you always want to take your uh your cap off your master cylinder too and then decompress it slowly that way all the fluid goes back up to the reservoir um, but yeah I always clean everything up wire brush um, this ain't bad actually it's real clean so I just wiped it out with a rag got my never seize I put a little dab of never seize in the brackets there to help the, the, the pads slide on it and I always put never seize on, on my studs for my wheels but if anybody's a mechanic they know that no matter how hard you try and how careful you are, you go to use this shit, it gets everywhere. Good shit, but nasty shit. So, yeah, guys, I'm just finishing this up for I figure I'd throw this in uh, the video with the El Camino. Um, I still can't believe I did that on that. That was that was my mistake. Uh, and that's what you get for wiring uh, in a hurry. As you guys can remember, a couple videos back, I did a schematic on how to wire a trans brake nitrous interrupter using two five-pin relays. Um, and it would have worked that way. Don't get me wrong, you know, that, that was correct on how to wire that. But the way I wired it, I just used the one relay to activate, you know, on your, on your five-pin relays, you got a constant hot, then you got your switched hot. Well, the constant hot, I got wired up to the MSD box through that fusible link wire um, full, the, full throttle switch. So every time, even if the arming switch wasn't on to activate the solenoids, every time that you would close that switch on the carburetor, it would uh, pull timing. That's what you get. You know, I, I just wanted to do this video. I could have just fixed it and not said nothing. Um, but, you know, I want everybody to try and learn from my mistakes. You cannot rush wiring when you're trying to do this stuff. I mean, um, obviously it didn't hurt nothing, like, wiring-wise. It didn't, you know, there was no chance of shit burning down, but it definitely hurt the performance of the motor. You know, I'm at 36 degrees. You're pulling 6 degrees every time you're on the floor. We're running it out the back door with 30 degrees of timing, which um, I'm not making excuses. It is what it is, but... Um, <laughs> how dumb, you know, so anyways, guys, I just wanted to do this quick video with you um, to let you know we did get that leash board in. We're going to get back to work on uh, getting that installed correctly, and uh, we still got to get the drive shaft out, get it over to the driveline uh, shop to get the new U-joints and uh, get it rebalanced, but I figured I'd just throw this little clip in, you know, the, the, the Tahoe here how easy it is to do a set of brake pads on the back and uh, um, just get with you guys. So as usual, guys, I really appreciate everybody for watching. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good shit. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video. All right. 
Bye-bye.